Hello, thank you for joining me. We're in a pleasant residential street in Buckinghamshire and um, we're continuing on with our barrierless tube station video. So we're in Buckinghamshire, not in London, although the tube is mainly in London, it does penetrate beyond central London. So there's only one line that does that, that's the Metropolitan Line. And there's only one barrierless tube station out of the three in Buckinghamshire. The two that have barriers are Amersham and Chesham and the one that doesn't is Chalfont Latimer. So the place we are today is um, Little Chalfont. Now just notice there's a barn behind us, give you an idea what this area would have been like before the railway. That barn was probably there. That barn is probably the only thing that was where we that's here today before the Metropolitan Railway came. And we're just coming now into the village centre of Little Chalfont. It's a very pleasant village centre and um, Little Chalfont is fully a railway creation. Before the railway there was no Little Chalfont. There was Chalfont St Giles and there was a village called Latimer and the road we're just coming up to up there would have, was probably there. This road was through here but these would have been very rural country lanes. This area here is known as Nightingale Corner. Um, so we're going to now head through the village centre towards the station. So as I said, there was not, there was no um, Little Chalfont before the railway. The railway was built and they built a station when the railway opened in 1889, the Metropolitan Railway. They decided to build a station called Chalfont Road in the northernmost corner of the village of Chalfont St Charles because the two Chalfonts that existed before Chal... Well, I mean, look at the things things you see in these suburbs. Um, anyway, so before Chalfont's, Little Chalfont existed, there was um, there was Chalfont St Peter, where we've done a few videos, and there was Chalfont St Giles, where we probably will do some videos. And doesn't this cherry blossom look nice? So they were the Chalfonts. The third Chalfont that we're in now, Little Chalfont, which this is the village centre, appeared with the railway. So they built the railway station, called it Chalfont Road, in the most northernmost corner of Chalfont St Giles, or the parish of Chalfont St Giles. It was, in 1915, it was renamed Chalfont Latimer, because about a mile down the road that way is the smaller village of Latimer. And I believe Latimer's half in Hertfordshire and half in Buckinghamshire, so it's a bit of an unusual place. And we're now just coming up towards the station, so the railway opened in 1889. It originally opened not to Amersham, as you possibly would guess, or as it might seem today. It actually went to Chesham first. They extended the Metropolitan Line to Aylesbury and Amersham a few years later. I think it was 1892 that line opened because it was sort of seen that Chesham was the bigger town and it was easy to extend down the hill to build the line down the hill to Chesham than it was down the hill, so they built a line down the hill into the Chess Valley to Chesham rather than down the hill to the Misbourne Valley where Amersham is but then when they extended to Aylesbury Amersham got a station up on the hill and the town that's now Amersham on the hill or Amersham Newtown was built. It's a shame this pub appears to be abandoned, not sure what's going to happen, whether it's going to be demolished, don't know, a bit of a shame. There's a planning notice. Um, from, it used to be called Sugarloaf Inn, looks like they're going to put some lights on the building, that's what the planning notice was for, so it doesn't look like it's going to be demolished. Anyway, we are now, finally, we can now see the London Underground Roundel, even though we're actually in Buckinghamshire. So we're now going to go and explore another barrierless tube station. So we've finally finished walking around the village. We're just coming into this little forecourt. This is actually the back entrance to the tube station. The reason we're going to this as the back entrance is because it is the entrance that is barrierless. So um, we're just coming up to it now. So you can just see where we're going. So we're just now 
coming along here. There's a craft beer shop across the road, which is quite good if you ever want any local beers in Buckinghamshire. We're now just coming to this entrance. Now my plan is, the next barrier station we're gonna visit is one stop up the line, Jorley Wood. So watch out for that video. So I'm just coming in here. This is our barrierless entrance. I'm just touching in. Touched in. So we are now on the station platform. That way is looking towards London. That way looks towards Amersham and Chesham. So the Chesham branch diverges down there. What we'll do, we'll go over the other side. We'll have a closer look at the old bay platform. So there's the barriers entrance. So we go through here. Down the steps. Now bear in mind this is also not just served by London Underground. Between or north of Moor Park to Amersham, Chilton Railways share the tracks. Their trains share the tracks along Underground. Oh, it's nice and cool down here. It's a very quite a warm day today. So we're down in the subway, going underneath, we're coming up the steps. And we're gonna go and have a look at the old Chesham Bay because since when it was A stop trains, which I do really miss. When it was A-stop trains, they, they were two four-car units, so you could run them as a four-car. Since they've been S-stop trains, all the Met S-stop trains have been seven cars. So um, it's quite a cool little waiting room here. It's open. It's a really hot day. It's 20 degrees outside, and they've got the heating on, and it is really hot in here. Um, but I just want to show you, it's a funny shape, this waiting room. It's, um, it's an irregular sort of rectangle shape, anyway. Out the door, and this is the old Chesham Bay platform. So, until they replaced the A stop trains, you used to get a four car A stop train sitting here to go down to Chesham in the Chess Valley. So, Chesham really has been a branch, it was only the main line for three years, and then when they extended up to Aylesbury, that, that kind of made Chesham a branch, and it's been like that ever since. Um, but now all trains to Chesham are through trains because there never was a four car A stock train. I always think what they could have done is when they built the Capital Stars, the class 378, they should have built a couple for the Metropolitan Line. They could have shuffled up and down here. They have also a couple of times in the 90s, they did use occasionally 121 DMUs, I believe, on a couple of occasions when the current was switched off. So we're coming down to the end of the platform. There's a couple of things to show you here. There's a little Dolly signal just down there. So the main line goes up to Amersham. The Chesham branch diverges down there. You can see the whole station. So my plan is I'm going to get on the next train. That's why I touched in. Um, and I'm going to travel to Chorley Wood where our next video will be. That's our next barrierless station. So it's quite an interesting station, sort of this part of the Met. We're out in Buckinghamshire. As like I said, Chilton Railways trains also run over this part of the Met, so it's not just undergrounds. Um, and also it's at the top of quite a bank. So when they do steam on the Met, the steam train come through here, it's really working quite hard. So um, that's also a sight to see them. I've seen them thundering through here. It seems hard to believe them, but I've actually seen steam thunder through here. That's that hot waiting room we were in. Chow Fonten Latimer. And um, there's a A, um, a stop train. It needs an A stop train. That would be great if an A stop train did come, but unfortunately, the video's not going to be quite good. Here comes an S stop train. Number 2159. I know I've seen all of them. So, as it's about which stations do and don't have ticket barriers, just give you a look. There's the ticket barrier. What's interesting is what happened was when they put the wide aisle in, what they did was it used to be three of this type and a gate, but the gate was there where this one is. I don't know why they didn't put the wide aisle here and keep the line of three there. To me, that would have made more sense, but that isn't what they did. So anyway, from Chalfont Latimer Station, originally called Chalfont Road, I'm now gonna get on the next train and go down the line to Chorley Wood, where our next video will be, from the only barrierless tube station in Buckinghamshire. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.